Welcome to Fort Severn First Nation. Perched on the edge of Hudson Bay, this is Ontario's northernmost community. The residents of this community have embraced the harsh climate and have made a home for themselves in a land famous for polar bears and the amazing Aurora Borealis. Though the land that this community rests on is covered in permafrost, an innovative building technology has allowed new homes to withstand the challenges presented by this harsh environment. Climate change has had an enormous impact on the homes of Fort Severn. There was a gentleman that was coming from uh, some, some universities to test uh, permafrost. We dug in, we found permafrost about seven, seven feet down. Uh, four years later, he came back. We went down 21 feet. We did not find any permafrost. That's how quickly it's disappearing. I mean, and when you have permafrost, you have no movement. Uh, we're finding ourselves, we have to re-level houses every summer. This drastic change in the permafrost layer has significant effects on the foundations of homes, causing structural damage during the freeze-thaw cycle seen in northern communities. As the permafrost recedes, the homes are no longer on stable footing and are literally torn apart at the seams. What we're finding with the traditional foundation system is we're having to gut out houses within five years because of shifting, I mean, uh, house shifts, now you got air movement, you got moisture moving into the house, which leads to mold. Some of these houses have uh, mold, which cause skin, skin conditions, and uh, it all starts with the foundation. Even if we do go level it off again, we're finding that we're going to have to do it again. You know, so essentially the funding dollars we do receive to build new homes is going to renovation. With the permafrost, the climate change, and everything else, all the factors bundled together has actually forced us to think creatively and look outside the box. Through the support of Indigenous Services Canada Budget 2016 funding, Fort Severin was able to implement the use of the innovative triodetic building system. Along with the new building system, this funding supported training and capacity building initiatives in Fort Severin that will allow ongoing sustainability of their housing programs. Utilizing this new system, Fort Severn has constructed new duplex houses that are able to withstand the changing permafrost and maintain a stable foundation. This technology ensures that the duplexes are sturdy and that the structures will not sink or bow as time passes. Well, it's supposed to keep the house from ever sagging. It's supposed to keep it straight. Let's say we lose ground on one end, that system will be able to hold it straight. And then that's where we come in and adjust the footings if we have to. See, one part of the legs can, like, the ground can sink underneath it and that leg's not gonna move and the building's not gonna move. If the house moves, I think it can carry 65% uh, of the load. So, so if it drops on one end, you know what I mean? The other end of the house is going to hold it level. So you have the, the workers actually have time to go in there and go in there with a wrench and adjust it. People were doubtful at first, and then after a while we, they see that it works, and they're on board now. We put it together in about three days was our first one and two days for the second one. A lot easier than doing concrete especially for a northern community. It's not like down south where you can get a concrete truck and a pumper truck right there that day and you're done. It's a thing that was, should have been brought forth a long time ago, I think. With the tridetic system, these new duplex homes are elevated above the ground to prevent any damage that may come from exposure to the underlying permafrost changes. The residents of Fort Severn are thankful for the protection that the triadetic system provides. The solid foundations keep the home structurally sound while isolating them from permafrost and potential spring flooding. This allows the residents to live with peace of mind and comfort. Now that it's proven, we can actually go to existing buildings and put triadetics in there. The First Nations housing community is proud to present Fort Severn First Nation, the 2020 Community Housing Recognition Award. I'm very proud of this award and I'm proud of uh, how far we came along with uh, what we, we've been using. With this system, is, uh, I, I find that uh, we're saving money in the long run. 
the way I see it, you invest $6,000 now on something you know that's going to work and then you're not going to put any more money into it for years to come.